to you live from Southern California. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And on the mound now, Michael King. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout for nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Now it's the DH, Will Benson. And a pitch. That one finds the zone, and we're underway. And that's off the inside edge, and it's one and one. The pitch. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And now let's see if they pull some action with good wheels on the bases. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Absolutely tearing up the base pass lately. More than 16 stolen bases this month. Bounced up the middle. There's Got one. It. And two. What a play. Good 6 3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job to work closer to getting out of this inning. Now, here is Spencer Steer. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Two outs, bases empty. That one just missing inside. Now one and two. And a rope into center field, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jake Fraley. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. King picks over, and he's back in there. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Two outs. That misses. Ball two. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a runner on the move. Fastball right back to the mound. That ends the frame. Reds leave one, and now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Back here at Petco Park. And on the hill today, Andrew Abbott. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The 1-0. Fouled off down the right side. Ball to strike. Bounce to the left side. De La Cruz. One gone, bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup That's will follow. Fernando Tatis Jr., Whoa. the next to hit, takes ball one. Boog Tatis is so athletic, he probably could have carved out a career in other sports if he wanted, but he grew up in a baseball family with baseball in his blood. Inside corner for a strike, and the count one and one. Next offering misses down and away. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Okay. And another ball. Tatis waits. Hammer, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second. Tag and he's in there. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. And at second with one away. Next is the speedy first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. That one drifts inside. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tatis, the runner at second with one away. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. And a 1-1. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He's got it, and there's two down. Here's Manny Machado now. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Runner at second, two down. Ball. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Machado out of the play. And that is the inning. Padres leave one. Scoreless after one.
here in San Diego. All set for the start of the inning. In now for the Reds, Jonathan India. King back to work. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. And the right hander deals. And downstairs. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. The pitch. To the right side. He handles it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is it. The left leader, number 23, Nick. Nick Martini digs in now. Martini goes five feet, 11 inches, 33 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2011. And that one fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe is an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like he kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. One down, base is empty. One, Not two. close with that one. And the count one and two. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. You know, Boog, there always seems to be that oh-no moment for the pitcher when he's lost control of his pitch, and most of the time, it's right when he lets it go. He knows that it's not headed where he intended it to go. Jamer Candelario in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Righty delivers. That one misses. That's five straight. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Luke Maley in the on-deck circle. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. That clips a corner. Calling this count runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. And he grounds one back up the middle, finds his way through base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Luke Maley. And fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. and second with two outs and ready to hit now for Cincinnati Stuart Fairchild strike one two on two outs Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. 
He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. And here it comes. In the air to left down the line. Profile on his way over. He's got it. And that's the third out. Red strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Bottom of the second. And here comes Sander Bogart. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, right side of the infield. Maley settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And there's one away. That is good. No center field. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jackson Merrill. That's outside, and that's ball one. And a good eye there. All tied up, bottom half of inning number two. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Ground ball up the middle. Gets to it with a slide. And very nicely done for the out. That is tough. Not shortstop. Pop Young Bear. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Good no, eye right the there. Ball. On the ground to the left. left. And that's just foul. Second inning here, no score. Ball the shortstop two. takes the ball. Two, two. And there's a ball. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Three balls, two strikes to count. Soft contact in the air. And foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Number 22 ball. at the plate now. That's ball one. One ball, no strike. Swing and a little roller right side. Out. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for San Diego. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Petco Park, and now the DH, Will Benson. Will Benson. Here comes a pitch. It's good speed Peter at the Ryan. top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. To third. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. 
in safely with a leadoff double. Go-ahead runs in scoring position. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. He hit into a double play his first time up. Bounce to third. Sends it across Out. the first and one away in the top of the third. The first baseman, number seven, Spencer. Spencer Steer. Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. And he's already singled in this game. Ball first one. pitch misses. Go ahead run at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swings through that one for strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. At the belt and fires. Swing a high fly ball down the right field line. He's got it. Two down. Next to hit, Jake Fraley. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. And there's the strike. Ball. And that's outside. One and one. Benson on its second with two down. Right side. Throw over to Cronenworth. And that is that. So one left for Cincinnati. And we are still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Digging in, Kyle Higashioka. Abbott back to work. That one fouled off. Pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. That one in there across the letters. The one, two. And another ball. Lifted in the air, right center field. Fairchild sizes this one up. And out number one on the grab. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Now batting jerks in Profar. And a foul ball left side. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one out in front that time. Line drive, base hit. So man aboard, one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. Doubled his first time up. This is smacked left field line. And it goes just foul. Bench no, misses. And the count even one and one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit.
Man at first one away. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now two away. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Now here is Jake Cronenworth. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs in the air center field pulls it in on the run and that is that Padres leave one and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in San Diego Jonathan India to play. Now the right hander ready to go. Ball. Still no score. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that one fouled off. And another ball. Two one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. And now it's filled up. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Outside, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. In now for the Reds, Nick Martini. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Rudder takes off. Fought off foul. Ball off two. the mark there. And it's two and one. Two one strike. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Here's a 2 2. Good job to fight that one off. Fourth inning underway, no score. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball could be two. Over to Kim. One. Back to first. And that is a double play. To me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play. And then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Now batting Jamer Candelario. One for one with a single so far. That's in there. Strike Go one. One strike. Oh. That's in there.
Hard hit left side. Now the throw to first on the run. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. So digging in now for San Diego, Manny Machado. As the lefty gets to work. Just missed. And fouled off. And another ball. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. Xander Bogarts into San Diego on deck circle. The line to kick the pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So a change being made at first base. Here's the Padres pinch runner, Jose Azokar. No outs, runner at first. Next for the Padres, Xander Bogarts. 0 for 1 so far. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. So digging in, Jackson Merrill. That Whoa. misses the zone. Ball one. Kicks and fires. No. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Left hand hitter waits. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. And he deals. Got him looking. And that is a big first out. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Two on, one out. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Lined into right. Base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. But it's offline. He will score. On the board first. It's one zip. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet. Knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Here's the third baseman. Grounded out his first time up. Down the ball here, rolls foul. Bogarts over at second. Kim at first, one gone. That misses the zone. Ball one. One ball, one strike. A swing and a soft liner. And it drops in. 
Here comes Bogarts around third. He scores, and they lead by two. Picks himself up an RBI. Looped that one in there for the knock. Definitely got that pitch on the outside of the cap a little bit, but he made it work for him. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. No. And that one is inside ball one. 1 0. The Padres trying to break this one open. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. The ball next two. offering misses. 2 and 0. Oh. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2-1. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Got him looking. And a big sigh of relief from the mound with that called third strike. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Profar stands in now and watches strike one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. On the ground to second, India, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But two runs for them, and they jump ahead. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Padres two, and the Reds nothing. And we're back, and here's the catcher, Luke Maley. The right-hander back to work. Foul ball there. Well, these Reds finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And that one is lifted in the air. Profar on the move to the alley. Puts it away for the alley. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Stuart Fairchild fly to left his first time. one now try to bunt for a hit right there and you can tell he's trying to get something anything going offensively and he'll two goes down looking Reds down to their final out. Now it's going to be Will Benson. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Pickoff throw. Benson back on a dive. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. And now Ellie De La Cruz. That one back up the middle and it gets through. 
Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. A couple of singles back to back. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Spencer Steer now at the plate. One for two. First pitch just misses. With the go ahead run at the plate, and we're at the top of the fifth. Tap softly, third base side, a swinging bunt, and he picks it up in foul territory. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball, two strikes. One strike away. And another ball. So the tying run at second. Ground ball right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, Bert, four games wasn't too long in the losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. 2 nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.